the mighty Morphin Power Rangers are back. Again, it seems Saban is, or uh, the, the owners of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers are going to be making a new movie based on that franchise. And I'm excited about this for some reason. Because we grew because up with the Power good. Rangers. We played Power Rangers on the, the playground. I'm one of those guys, I saw the first two seasons of Power Rangers religiously, but everything after that original cast was pointless to me. It was Agreed. Like, it's kind of like skins in that way. There were 17 other iterations of Power Rangers still going. since we stopped watching. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, and I, I'm all for this, because in my mind, the best version of Power Rangers was that original movie. Um, and I'm kind of hoping, you know, I'm hoping for the best for it. I, I want to know what the script is. I want to know what the storyline's going to be, who they're going to face. Um, Ooh, but it's, I hope Nicki Minaj plays Rita. <laughs> Nicki Minaj's Rita Repulsa <laughs> would be freaking awesome. That's casting choice. Wow. That would be great. Um, she looks exactly like her. <laughs> I want Jeremy Renner to play Billy just for oh, no other reason I than I think it'd be that. so silly and stupid. <laughs> now, yeah, when you go back and watch these, they are silly and stupid yeah. and the production value is abysmal, which was fine at the time, you know? I mean, but, like, how do you update that and stay true to the spirit of it at all? I mean, don't tell anybody, but I don't think this is really going to do well anywhere except for what? California. <laughs> Hold on. California, Washington, and Colorado. Well, that's not... <laughs> Listen now. <laughs> I know where you're going with that. But this is Pame Saban, who is the leader of Saban. Um, he's there. They announced the deal that this is going to Lionsgate, and he ha had said, Lionsgate is the perfect home for elevating our Power Rangers brand to the next level. They have the vision, marketing prowess, and incredible track record in launching breakthrough hits from The Hunger Games to Twilight and Divergent. It's going to be along those lines? The power swords are going to sparkle. <laughs> And they're um, they're, they're going to be entered in a death match, and yeah. one ranger will have to choose between two equally hunky rangers. I and also they're <laughs> going to be broken into classes like Divergent, and Billy is still going to be looked down upon and beaten. Oh, yeah. I liked Billy. I liked Billy too. I think Billy was representative of the people watching the show more than anyone else. Well, no, because it was children, right? Well, I mean, the nerdy kids yeah. okay. looked to Billy. I, I looked to Kimberly and Trini, but maybe because I'm a girl who's half Vietnamese and half white. I, oh. I would like to put it out there. Can we can we actually have the the Asian Power Ranger not be the Yellow Power Ranger? Can we maybe have, not have the, the Black, black Ranger, Ranger not be, be the black. black Ranger? They I mean, did that in later iterations of the Power Rangers. Mixed up the races a bit. Uh, but, yeah, I, they... I, I did not watch anything after season two I know that they did. I checked up on it. Okay. So. I, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what they do, but it really, like, it's weird to say this, but it, the script matters. Like, the Fox movie a few years ago had a great script, had great production value. If, if Lionsgate can make that film, all for it. Definitely would watch it. Mm -hmm. Especially with the uh, ramp up in kaiju movies, and I think that's definitely an answer to that. I think that may have to led that. to this. Yeah, so I think Pac-Ram and Godzilla clearly this, led this to this. Are, uh, came up in a time when story didn't matter as much, but now we live in a time where story does matter. Well, absolutely. I mean, Power Rangers was basically an attempt to recycle a show produced for Japan. I mean, there's a reason the Yellow Ranger is in a man's outfit and not a skirt like the other girl. I realize they reused those action sequences till years later. Yeah. They it, didn't even need our American cast to fight. No, they and did then, a little. Well, like to like show that they could do the stuff. Well, in the they gym. took off the helmet. They took off their mask and, and did a couple like, kicks. But the production schedule on that show was they would go and the American cast would just film like tons and tons of episodes in a row and just grind them out. And then they in post they would like put together like this scene goes with this scene and this scene. So this is the episode. This is the monster they're fighting and this is the regular stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh my it God, was, he got big! What a surprise! Oh. It happens literally every day. All is, right. Is this movie ripe for cameos? I hope so. I mean, I are we going to see Amy Jo Johnson? She's still acting. I want it to be the 21 Jump Street of Power Rangers films, honestly. I think that's the way to go for it. If you're targeting it for our age group and our audience that grew up with it, I want to see it approached in that silly, fun Shannon way. Shannon Tatum where as the Red Ranger? Just a bunch of stoners get, <laughs> get like the, the little things, and they become the Power Rangers. I really, I don't think playing it, playing it serious will work and kids will go see it. If you want to make a movie for the fans that grew up with it, it's a to tonally different thing. 
All right. Well, what do you think of a Mighty Morphin Power Rangers coming to the big screen with big production values, big scripts, and maybe big actors? Who knows? Let us know what you think below in the comments, and please be sure to subscribe because it's Morphin Time! Sabertooth Tire!